Hello and welcome to Scientifically Speaking, where we take science and spirituality and we mix them together and we find understanding. Uh, today we're going to be talking about scarab beetles, the halo wave and your brain. Now I've said on video uh, a couple of years ago that your brain is a folded over halo wave. The two arms have been pushed together and then they've been folded over backwards towards the back of your head where they coil together and exit out of your head as a magnetic field which is why you have hair and why you have a spiral on the back of your head. Certain people have a double spiral there. I am one of those people. It is not uncommon and I am not special for having two swirls on the back of my head. What it is is a pain in the backside when I'm trying to brush it. So that spiral uh, of yours came out as a single vortex and my two ends of the halo wave came out as a double vortex and that's why I've got the double crown thing whatever's going on now I believe that this scarab beetle um, is the representation of a magnetic field with the uh, electromagnetic um, wings which are the halo wave which meet at the red ball now you've got your magnetic field of legs up legs down surrounded by a halo wave. Now if we've looked under a ferro cell, which I have many on video, so do many other people, showing that there is a red ball on the top of a magnetic field when you put a ferro cell on it. Now this is actually an illusion and I uh, changed the angles on my camera to show that it was actually a rainbow of light and it's merely an optical illusion that there is a red ball there. So this could also be thought of as if this is an illusionary object in 3D that we see in a ferro cell, perhaps this refers to the third eye pineal gland in your head where you see things. You see illusionary things there, your imagination. So I believe that that red mark there is to do with um, your third eye. And because your brain is a folded over halo wave which exits at the back of your head, this is how the Egyptians represented it in code for future men to try and figure out. Because they knew all about electricity and magnetism, that's how they built the pyramids. Now, I always offer some kind of um, additional proof uh, to back up a claim like that. Um, so, uh, I, all I thought was, well, if this was to do with your head, Let's check out masks and coffins from the Egyptians and see if they use this kind of symbolism uh, in some kind of brain way. All right, let's go have a look. So I ended up at the National Museums of Scotland and uh, their website about coffins and mummy masks. Now, immediately on the front here, we see a red sun on this man's head. So... To me, that's immediate conf confirmation uh, due to the wings here, which should be red and blue uh, for electricity and magnetism, because um, that red and blue is the normal colour of all the uh, electromagnetic pictures that the Egyptians showed. Um, so, yeah, there's your pineal gland right there, and these are the halo waves of the scarab beetle, which presumably is behind him. Let's see what we can see here. Now they got a lot of coffins here. These are from 1760 BC. So nothing on these. They've still got the drapery going on. 1795 BC, all in black. I mean, honestly, we don't know if these have been repainted or if this was how they were originally found because information is always hidden from the public in case they understand that the universe is electric. Uh, so there's, okay, there's that guy. Um, Okay, uh, mummy mask of an unidentified person. Uh, we can see again the red circle there. This appears to be the scarab beetle, uh, the front of a magnetic field holding up this illusionary object, which is where your imagination station is in your brain. So to me, that makes sense that this ball doesn't actually exist um, on a ferro cell or on a magnet. Um, it only exists as an illusion. So to me, this is where the pineal gland, where you imagine things, um, this is where that would be contained. So to me, it's perfect sense that it's on her forehead. And the wings again are draped on either side, which would be the left and right hemispheres of the brain to show a different halo wave, one half of it here, one half there, representing her brain. So that's my thinking on the subject. Um, other people have said other things. Um, I watched a video 
just earlier, and it's uh, it said that uh, the scarab beetle represented the earth uh, with her baby Horus, um, which started out as her moon, but who had to be born from the earth. So I didn't agree with that um, representation of a scarab beetle. So I just thought I'd uh, put together this video because I've done Egyptian videos before uh, on the anchor and the eye of Horus and as I say, everywhere, a lot of other places around the world from Angle Wat to the uh, Celtic um, Pictish symbols. So I've been around the world with the kind of things I've been looking at, but I don't, I'm not sure. I don't remember if I ever did a scarab beetle one. I did a brain one, but I don't know if I did a scarab beetle. And I did the uh, the wings of the eagles with the red sun on its head. So mm, thinking about that, I don't know why the scarab beetle represents the earth. What does the uh, what does the eagle represent with the sun? If they've both got a sun, um, do they both mean the same thing? But one's a bird. Anyway, I did a, a whole video on that raw bird thing uh, as well. So. That's in there somewhere. Okay, thanks very much. Uh, that's my evidence for what the scarab beetle represents, and um, you can either agree or disagree. Thanks very much. My name is Lee. I follow the Christ, and I'm telling you all the things that he directs me to that he's shown me already. Thanks very much. Bye-bye. I myself, though, tried to uh, scientifically work it out uh, based on the halo wave. And as far as I'm concerned, the brain is a folded over halo wave which exits at the back, and your third eye would be that red thing. And to me, that was confirmed with the coffin tops. You might not agree, and that's okay, but that's my interpretation of what the scarab beetle represents. A magnetic field with a halo wave which meets and forms the red circle on the top of a magnet video under a ferro cell. Thanks very much. My name is Lee. I follow the Christ. And uh, I'd explained a lot of Egyptian stuff, but I hadn't really covered uh, the scarab beetle. Not that I can find it in my videos anyway. I may have done, but I can't find it. So I thought I'd do one. So yeah, scarab beetle, magnetic field. And in your head, that would be your third eye. And it's written on the coffins. Thanks very much. My name's Lee. I follow the Christ. And I hope you have a good weekend coming up. Bye.